Hello, YouTube fam. What's going on? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, on the bench today, I have the Cutlass. So this is the CT50 Cutlass uh, Music Man by Sterling. Uh, you guys have seen a few videos of these. I I swapped out the pickups with uh, some Music Man stuff. I uh, got some carbon fiber wrap put on the put on the pick guard there just to, for something different. Uh, some tele knurled knobs, and uh, yeah, and uh, it's a you know it's a pretty good guitar. I just um, I really hate these saddles, these types of. Now <laughs> I know the purists are gonna hate me for saying this, and I'll probably get some you know some hate comments or whatever. And uh, but you know different strokes for different folks. But <laughs> I hate these vintage saddles. Uh, if you can see the style there, it looks it looks like an S. I call them the the S saddles. They're like they're curved like this, and then they go down, and then there's a little loop at the back. To me, it looks like somebody cheaped out on the saddles. They just like took a little piece of metal, and they you know bent it and drilled some holes through it to put some screws in there. And I just I just don't like them. Um, I with the strings on, they're okay, I guess, but with the strings off. Um, there's, I don't know if you can see that. Once I take one off, I'll show you, but, so, here, right between the knobs. So, do you see that little loop around, just goes up and down? Well, that's where the height adjustment screw is, and the height adjustment screw is inside that little, we'll call it a teepee, <laughs> or the tent, or whatever you want to call it. But, so, there's only, like, literally like a thickness of a pick holding that height adjustment screw. So when the strings are off, like that height adjustment screw just teeters inside the saddle. Like it's it's not solid. Whereas on these types of saddles, and I'm not saying these are better like tone wise or whatever, but I'm just saying structurally, like on this type of saddle, you know, where um, you're looking at almost a quarter of an inch thick of material, that height adjustment screw is covered by a quarter of an inch of material as opposed to like a 32nd or a 16th of an inch thick material, right? Like it's, it's anchored in there. Um, and I would think that like, I don't know, I'm not too techy when it comes to this stuff, but, or like not a sound engineer or whatever. <laughs> you guys know you've seen my videos, but I would think that there would be more vibration transference from the string through the saddle down to the screws and then the plate and the body of the guitar, all that, all that stuff, right? Because you want, a lot of people say it's good that you know, you, you want to get some good sound transference like through the strings to your body. But I, I would think that if the saddle is thicker and there's more saddle coverage on the adjustment screw, you would have more vibration in that whole unit that than just a tiny little section of screw touching that saddle where the string is actually anchored to the guitar, right? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so... I, uh, I I went to the local music store and they had some different saddles in there and but the prices were ridiculous. I, I kind of checked um, um, I, I checked on Amazon and I, and I found these. So these are made in Canada, apparently. They're called string saver saddles. They're they're all um, they're like uh, graphite. They're graphite saddles, solid graphite saddles, and uh, they were the same string spacing as what's on the Cutlass. Um, and basically it says, uh, insulation recommended by a qualified guitar technician. <laughs> Don't tell anybody if I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, my qualifications are probably not in the guitar technician field. But anyway, we're going to put these on. And then it says, um, so, <laughs> so it says this, look, reduces string breakage, improves high end bite. I like that. Uh, improves mid-range depth. I like a nice deep mid-range, so that's good. Um, permanently lubricated. So I, you know, I, I get 
I don't know, if the string's sitting in a groove inside the saddle, it's, it's not like it's moving, I guess, so I don't know why it has to be permanently lubricated, but, you know, I guess lubrication's always a good thing when it comes to metal strings, I guess. Uh, improves tuning, like that. Corrosion resistant, who doesn't like that? And inspires confidence. These saddles inspires confidence. And if you heard my playing, I could use all the confidence I could get. So how could you go wrong with these? Right? So anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try these. I'm gonna put these on. So I'm gonna do like just a simple little sound clip with the original saddles. And then I'll try to play the same thing again with these new saddles and um, see if there's a difference. My guess is, I don't care what kind of saddles you put on a guitar, um, if audibly you could pick that up with the human ear, um, you're a freak, I think. <laughs> if your amp is set and, right, and you have your, your stuff set up on an amplifiers and... Uh, and you got, you're running pedals or whatever, and your the pickups on your guitar are adjusted right, and you're running full volume, full tone in your guitar, and you change the saddles, and you're like, whoa, that's a great, that's a great tonal difference. You have like superhuman hearing, hearing man. You're like, there's something. <laughs> I I don't I don't know. I I just that kind of stuff when they say you know you change the pot and oh the difference in changing the pot is amazing. I've had a ton of guitars in my time and I, I'm not a professional player by any means and, and, you know, and I've made that clear by, you know, the quality of my videos. Um, but I just, like, that little stuff, like changing that stuff makes, I've, tonally, I, I've never noticed a difference. Pickups, yes, I've noticed a difference. Um, volume pots, I've noticed a difference in the sweep, whether it's like linear or like a kind of a taper pot. I know it's a difference, but tonally what comes out of the amp, it's never been like, oh my gosh, this is so much better. Like just, it just, I've never experienced that, I guess. in you know, in my years of swapping stuff out. Um, so I don't expect a big difference, whether it's graphite, brass, steel. Um, but what I, what I do like about changing components is that the components are just, better more stability uh better intonation um just less string waver like sometimes you'll hit a string and it kind of it sounds it sounds i don't know what the wobbly i guess it's kind of like it has a kind of like a wobbly sound in, in in the string like you know the vibration of the string as opposed to being like a nice smooth ring now i don't know if that's caused by the pickups or or if it uh, if it's caused by the saddles, but um, I think I don't know. Like I find the cutlass that way. Like sometimes I'll play it and I f I feel like there's like an out of pitchish kind of sound. It's kind of like a wobbly effect. And uh, I but I it, it did that with the stock pickups and it's still doing it with the the aftermarket one. So um, you know I don't think it's the nut and I don't think it's the tuners, right? That's kind of out of the equation as far as the vibration of the string goes. So. I'm thinking maybe it's the saddles. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try to swap these out and see. I think it'll look cool, like the black on the chrome, especially with the black pickguard that I have. And, uh, you know, the black uh, outline of the guitar and stuff. So I think it'll look kind of neat. If nothing else, it'll be a cool little cosmetic upgrade. And uh, and I think, you know, they look really well made. So I think it will help, you know, string breakage and maybe tuning and intonation. We'll see. One thing I don't really like is, um, I don't know if you can see that here, but... Those springs, oh yeah, you can see that. Those springs look like really spaced out. Like I don't know how how tight um, the saddle will be on the spring, like as far as adjustment purposes. So I think I might use the stock springs because they're tighter wound. I don't know if you can see that. They're not as spaced out. And uh, I know what you're saying. Well, once you tighten the saddle, you know, the spring spacing will shrink. But I know what you're saying, but... Um, some of these screw lengths here um, are are about the same length as the stock saddles here on the bridge, and um, 
so that's about the string the spring spacing that I'm gonna have and I don't really care about that and they they give me some longer uh, intonation screws too they come with six longer intonation screws in case you you need them or whatever so uh so yeah I don't know it looks they look like really good saddles and uh the whole uh inspires confidence thing you know how could I pass that up so <laughs> it says here string endurance Number of plucks until breakage. So with a typical brass salad, a saddle, you can get, I almost said salad there. That's almost lunchtime, I'm hungry. So with a typical brass saddle, it says you get on average 1,087 string plucks until you will actually shear that string off the saddle. <laughs> I don't know. I got these brass saddles from Amazon and then, uh, despite the negative reviews and stuff, they're awesome. And I've yet to break a string on the saddle. But anyway. And then they say the steel saddles, you'll get on average 3,458 string plucks before breaking a string on a saddle. But on the string saver saddles, you get on average 7,093 string plucks. Right? That's a pretty impressive graph there. Imagine having that job. Right? Testing the... the anyway, I, I think that's a bunch of crap. I don't think that's true. Don't buy stuff because of those statistics. That's... It's... You, you could have a, a, a steel saddle that's perfectly grooved and has zero, like, uh, little nodules or bumps or whatever. It was perfectly filed by, like, a super experienced Luther, and you'll never break a string in the friggin' life of that guitar. Like, so, I don't know. I, I, think, I think that's just a bunch of, of hype. But regardless, I'm going to put these suckers on and see what happens. I'll be back. All right, so I got one saddle in. Here's what it looks like. So much, so much beefier than the stock saddles. Um, so I think, I think it'll be a good, uh, I think it'll be a good upgrade. But anyway, we'll see. Hey, so I mentioned I was going to swap the springs because you know the back here ones have more coils, but um, I realize you know I'm not going to do that because I don't know if you can see that. So these. This, the one over here on my left hand, is the factory one. And uh, it's just, you know, it has more coils compared to this one, but it's uh, way easier to compress. And this one is like, I, I can barely compress it. It's like super stiff. I don't know what they put in there, but this one's like nothing. And then this one is like really, really high density steel I guess for the spring so I'm gonna keep these um, clearly they're way stiffer so they'll probably hold their position better so just thought I'd chime in and let you guys know that all right so job is done um, that's what they look like installed oh, black saddles you know chrome bridge pretty good one thing I I noticed is um, so these, uh, it comes with a little wrench too, obviously, to adjust the height intonation or the, the height adjustment screws. Um, so one thing I notice is these intonation screws here and the height adjustment screws are really tight inside these saddles. Like they're not, there's no play whatsoever. Not tight like, uh, like you know, when a steel saddle is rusted in there or steel screws rusted into a steel saddle and you're trying to turn it and you feel that your wrench is going to strip on you. Um, not that kind of, you know, tight, but just like zero play. There's none. Like you turn them, they're nice and tight and the adjustments are very fine. So it should be, um, should be a cool little upgrade, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I adjusted the saddles kind of as, as close. Like I just took one out at a time and then I set the stagger like the other ones were. But it's hard to say exactly where this string, um, this little notch, uh, these strings are. So I don't know. I'll probably have to set the intonation, obviously, and uh, and probably the height too. But uh, they look pretty good, like just right out of the box. So anyway, um, 
I'm going to string this up and uh, do another little sound test and we'll see how these work. Stock saddles, position two. Position one. pretty good ear but I don't really uh, I don't know if there's that much difference I feel like there's more um, the notes are more balanced though um, more kind of articulation um, between the notes um, and maybe a little bit more sustain <laughs> It just goes on. I can still hear it. So maybe a little bit more sustain. Um, so yeah, I don't know about you know if there's really an audible difference, but um, maybe you guys be able to tell with speakers or headphones on, you know, with clip one versus clip two. But um, one thing I I can tell you is uh, setting the intonation on these and the action is like so easy because. I don't know if it's like because they're graphite saddles and you know the th the threads are just tighter but every adjustment like makes makes a noticeable difference so it's so quick and efficient to adjust um intonation and uh subtle height adjustment so I don't know I, I like these they're they're great I think they look good you know what well on this guitar and uh, I mean, everybody's got their own thing, right? But I like I like stuff that's different than what everybody else has. But I think these look good. Um, they're definitely solid for sure. Like nothing moves. And um, I think maybe note articulation might be a little better with these than the the old uh, metal ones. <laughs> Graphic saddles. 
Now I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not going to post a link to them or anything because I'm not, like I'm not sponsored and and uh, I'm not like advocating for Graph Tech. I just wanted something different than those saddles. I just, I just didn't like them. So, um, uh, but if you want, you know, if, if you want to know, just shoot a comment and I can, I can post a link to you. It's not a big deal. But I got these on Amazon and um, they were, I think for me here in Canada, I think they were 60 bucks. Uh, that's free shipping. And actually there was no tax, which is kind of weird, um, right to my door. So um, yeah, um, I like it, it's good. Anyway, take care guys, see ya.